Hi everyone, it's Scarlet Pete here and welcome to my channel. It's all about self-sufficiency, just in case you're a newcomer. While I'm here, can I ask you, if you like the content, please give us a thumbs up and consider joining the channel, subscribing, because I'm trying to get lots and lots of likes and shares and subscribe so I can grow my channel. So today's video is going to be all about our tractors and trailers. This is our LTZ tractor. I think it's a Belarus or Ukrainian tractor. It's from that end of the woods anyhow. It's a great tractor. It's actually a 60 horsepower. It's got a different bonnet on than it should have. It has weights at the front. It's four wheel drive. And it's quite good for self-sufficiency. It's extremely economical. It never seems to need filling up. If we were to have a much more powerful tractor and a heavier tractor, then we'd definitely be drinking a lot more fuel. So this one's quite handy. This one has a three point linkage at the back of it. That's just the way this tractor and most tractors carry their tools. Three points, one, two, and a third point up there. So the arms come out and you can change the width of them. You can alter the height of them and those support the bottom of the tool. And then the third linkage is this top link here that goes across, which holds it from tipping over or tipping into the tractor. You don't want that. Oops, look, must have happened once. Now then, we down here have the PTO attachment. So that's the drive. That would actually spin round when it's engaged and drive whatever machinery we're using. And at the bottom here, we have a lifting, picking up type of gear. And that's where you put on your trailer if you've got a hole or a donut shaped linkage on your trailers. Now with trailers, and with trailers, with tractors, you never have enough of these things to attach and enough pins. You always need lots of pins. Now on the inside here, we have various knobs and levers and clutches and things and lifting gear there, those handles. But that's for another video because I need my husband to tell you all about while I do the talking. So that's our lovely tractor. It's been looked after by us. It's had most of its parts renewed. What's nice about this is it's easy for us to work on. It's not got any electronics really in it and it is get atable. It would be very nice to have one of these all bells and whistles, new big swanky tractors that's shiny and, well, I'm thinking of the big green and yellow ones, but I wouldn't want one really because you can't look after it yourself. You can't do the mechanics. You need a computer. Everything costs a fortune. This old banger keeps us going. Talking of bangers, here's our other tractor. I told you it was a banger, didn't I? Now my husband fell in love with this heap. And it looks like he's been doing a few bits of mechanicking on it. Now, I don't see the big deal in this tractor. He loves it, but it has something called a donkey engine. Uh, I believe this is called a Yumps tractor. And the donkey engine is on the side there that starts it in cold weather. Uh, because it's Eastern European, um, Russian, Ukrainian, something along those lines, much colder climate, so in wintertime in the old days they wouldn't start so well. So that is what's used to get it going. Can't see much of the seat, but it has a, a very handy family sized seat. You can fit three people in there. Because in the old days, the farmer's wife and the children would get on the tractor and they'd go to the market and wherever with him. But I think that's enough of the old banger. I think that's the best view of it, don't you? Whilst talking about old tractors, this obviously has to be the best looking tractor on the farm, doesn't it, young lady? This is Lucky, our Carp Carpathian or Hootsel pony. Now they were bred in the Carpathian Mountains and used for self-sufficiency over the years, hundreds of years. They are ideal, aren't you? Lucky, yes? Do you agree? Ideal for the small holder, getting around a pony to ride on and to tow a carriage. And also the peasant wagons, which I'll show you. Yes, this is the old transport, we're talking tractors and trailers and things, so that's what it is. This is what the pony would carry people to market and the shops in. But we also have, as I was saying, the peasant wagon. I'll show you that next. Yes, this is the peasant wagon. Now this is normally pulled by one or two ponies and this is a pony version of it. You can get even bigger for the big horse. It's often seen, full of scrap, as ours is, being towed to the scrap yards with the horses in front pulling it. This would be used for farm work, scrap work and general 
general getting things moved from A to B. The seat's there under all that mess at the front, and it's on springs. The other one is more like a Sunday best, getting to the shops, visiting family. But these are still used every day in Hungary by a lot of people. So let's move back to modern times and get on with these trailers. Here's a harvest trailer we've just made. We bought the top a few years ago and we've taken the bottom off an old rice horse trailer and uh, put the two together, married. This is for carrying our hay and straw and other things that we need to lift on with the tractor. This will be used as some sort of trailer at some point, but it's not quite there yet. There's a few bits missing. But this one over here is my little quad bike trailer or car trailer that we've just finished creating. The top came separately and recently we've put the bottom wheels on and I'm quite pleased with it. A small trailer that is quite handy on the small holding lay of life. You need to be able to move things from A to B and you don't always want to use a wheelbarrow. Things are a bit heavier sometimes, aren't they, Lil? And we're not going to use a horse all the time, are we? As much as it, you'd like to farm with horses, wouldn't you, darling? Yeah. So we've got this little trailer to go behind the quad bike. That's Lucky Star. Lucky's the Carpathian, and that's a Carpathian cross Hungarian warm blood attached to the tractor, as you do. And now over to the other trailers. So, this is the old trailer I told you about that's passed its days as a trailer, but the chassis was damned handy. Looks to be put that underneath the harvest trailer. This trailer is an old vintage Ivor Williams stock trailer that's had the top extended to have cows and horses in. I will use this just for the cows and horses, uh, not cows, pigs and sheep, not horses. Hello bunny rabbit, what are you doing there, hey? Hmm? Are you trying to get in on the video as well? And next we have the old horse trailer there, that needs a bit of a clean up. And we've got this trailer too, with the rabbit. This trailer's been really handy, we've moved horses and pigs in it, but now it's no longer safe to move pig, um, horses in at all, and probably not for pigs. So what I'm going to do is strip it down, and you see this aluminium profile here, that'll all be cleaned down, and I'll be using that on the trailer, the, um, the uh, horse trailer, the, what's it called? Peasant wagon, that's it. That's what we'll be using to revamp that. So it'll be much lighter for the animals to pull, being um, aluminium. As a second, Bunny pops out to say hello on the video. Hello, Bunny. Hello. Hello, are you coming to say hello, are you? Right, back to trailers. Now this here is our last trailer project. At the moment it's got a pile of hay in it that we did last year. It's an old hamster, my husband calls it. It's a forage type harvester that uh, it cuts and nibbles up the grass and then it has a machine that spins it around and drags it into the actual um, trailer. And then at this end it has a conveyor belt so it must be a feed trailer I think because that would then throw out the food to the cows that would be in a barn. Well we don't need to use it like that but we're going to probably get it going again so that if our hay baler breaks at least we can bring in the hay with this machine and then cover it like we've done here. So I hope you enjoyed our tour of our tractors and trailers and thanks so much for watching. Please do share it and like and possibly subscribe that would be really handy to get my numbers up. Thanks so much. You all take care and if there's any questions please ask in the comments. Bye bye!